So what I want to talk about a little bit today is just talk about the basics of how we perceive the sounds around us and how we perceive the sounds in the tracks that we like. Sound design is a language, and listening enables you to expand your vocabulary. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a sine wave. I'm going to take that sine wave, which has no harmonics, and just by playing with the amplitude envelope, I'm going to soften the attack, and that sine wave, despite the fact it won't have any harmonics, we get a woodwind. If we take that same sine wave and we give it a very, very fast decay and go higher in the octave range, we get a xylophone, despite the fact that it's a sine wave. This is all our ears cluing into what instrument we're hearing exclusively from the amplifier envelope. Um, if I increase the decay time and the release time, we get bells. So it's a matter, in terms of designing sounds with synths, it's a matter of translating that language that we already know for identifying musical instruments to identifying waveforms. Um, so right here, if I use a pitch envelope, it's a water droplet. If we go higher, if we make the pitch envelope go higher, we get bird cheeps. And it's learning that language. It's like when I hear a bird cheeping, I'm like, oh yeah, that's that pitch envelope. So understanding that, that language of the amplifier envelope, for those of you who are, want to pursue sound design, being able to at least understand what elements they want to edit is the perfect starting point for learning how to create your own sounds.